Hello and welcome to Milo and Marcus Garage. Today again we are working on our boat. As I've said in the last episode, we were planning to put the boat on dry land and so we did and we took the engine out of the boat. So that's how it looks now. Lots of little hosey hoses. Uh, then generally the boat can now be slowly repaired. The wood, I mean. And here is the engine. Sorry if you've got some wind in, in your mic. But, well, you can't really do anything with that. But yeah, this is how the engine looks out of the boat. It's still equally crusty as it was before. Uh, currently we are working on disassembling the clutch and uh, gearbox of the engine. Uh, so the plan is just to take out these teeny weeny screwy screws. Let me try to focus that for you. There we go. Uh, if you can see right there, that little thing. That is the clutch connection. So we are trying to unscrew those and then take off the whole thing and start the repairs. So we'll get back to you once we do exactly that. Alrighty people, as you can see, the gear house and uh, clutch box is out of the engine. We still got some parts left that need to be taken off but we need a special key, like a large long 32 millimeter pipe. Uh, but this is how it looks out of the engine. It's uh, greasy, it's oily, it's dirty and it's um, full of stuff. Uh, over here we've got the uh, actual drive shaft, teeny tiny drive shaft with a gear selector in it. It's, um, it's a bit of a strange system so it's hard to explain but basically it's, um, it's based on just friction couplings in both reverse and forward gear and the, the drive shaft just slides to the left and to the right and that's how it gets uh, into either reverse or forward gear or neutral. So that's how it works. There you go. And that's how it looks like. Zoom out. Nice. Uh, so right now we're going just going to try to remove the rest of the clutch that's on there. As you can see the engine still well, almost fully intact, which is pretty good. Uh, it is crusty on the inside. Gotta, gotta give you that, it's quite crusty and um, oily. Although we changed the oil just, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, it's still dirty and crusty inside, so we will probably wash all of those parts to make them nice. We might need to change the clutch plates we're not sure yet, okay, we can sort of see them when you look like directly there. You can sort of see the clutch, you can sort of see the clutch plates right there, but again it's not that much of it, so we will try to disassemble the rest of it and then look at those clutch plates. Alright, I will bring you back once we do something other than looking for tools. Okie dokie, so we pulled the drain plug, you can look closely down there, you will see when I sharpen it, the drain plug right there, it's a teeny tiny hole, hard to see, right, right there, that's the drain plug hole, and this is the drain plug. It is made out of wood. Yes. Yep, it is made out of wood, uh, but it's held together over the years, so we'll probably use it again. We shall see. But for now, 
the plan is just to start washing the boat down with some fresh water getting some of those dirty pieces of unknown origin from the bottom uh, and with the engine we will need to find a special tool for that because we are not so sure what we can use on this because it's uh, got a if you can look closely here and I can um, adjust there we go so that bolt is a 30 millimeter bolt and this rod is about uh, 10 centimeters long so the problem we are facing right now is our pipe wrench right here is quite short so there's no way we can reach that bolt over there so we'll either need to find something special for it or fabricate it ourselves we shall see about that but basically right now we're just going to start washing the boat down see you when we finish that all righty welcome back it's been a couple of days since we last saw each other and we've been hunting parts so basically we went to a boat yard and they had two sub engines available for parts and we sourced some nice parts from them for example this lovely screwy thingy wingy which is in a lot better shape than ours if you ah, let me just take the glove on it's very oily you know so it's um, there we go so if you look at our it's a bit ground up it's got a cut here this one doesn't have a cut here looks very nice it's not so ground up this is old this is new also old in addition to that we managed to take out that uh, sprocket over there sorry for the darkness let's try to get the light sensor to ah, whatever so that sprocket over there that is a new sprocket because the old one was completely garbage it was absolutely gone so what we did to that sprocket we actually there is no ball bearing like a separate ball bearing in there there are just some balls inside the sprocket and the sprocket itself is the ball bearing so we filled the new one with lots of tiny tiny balls like these it was quite hard to fill because honestly it's not a they kept popping up uh, but we managed to do it it sits there very nicely if you turn it now it turns lovely and uh, thus we will start the assembly process so I'll bring you back once we do something as you can see Marcus is currently attaching the clutch to the engine there we go that's the clutch um, was a bit of a uh, hassle to get on but not, not too hard we found some liquid gasket that we put on the gear case which soon will be attached to the engine and also I've uh, successfully transplanted a new gas lever, that's the new gas lever, that's the old gas lever as you can see the old gas lever had a very um, um, ah, come on, there we go, you can see that over there, it's uh, ripped apart and the new one is uh, in a good condition so uh, there you go it's um, attached now, it works Soon we'll put on the rest of the gear case and the engine will be almost ready to run. But unfortunately, that will be for next time. 
because I've got to pack up and leave. Want to wonder why? Well, I am finishing my A2 course tomorrow and on Thursday. Um, whichever this day will be that this YouTube video is, so probably already have the license, but well, tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Uh, so that means that I can upgrade from the day limb to something bigger, which is nice. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, uh, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, comment, and as always, keep on riding, or boating, or driving, or whatever you're riding, or driving, or boating. See ya. <laughs>